I'm back, baby. Welcome back to Y. Ah, uh, that was a nice break. That was a nice break. So, uh, sorry to inconvenience you guys with the break, but uh, yeah. So we're hopping right back into it. Episode, what is this? 401, right? Pegasus you bell? Yeah. So let's go ahead and use this deck and have some duels. So, of course, I've got a lot of things to tell you guys. I'll be talking about in daily duels and uh, of course how my my week my week of break went and of course I'll be talking about my uh, my experience at uh, YCS Anaheim and all the people that I met and how I did and all that great stuff but for now it is time to play with Yvel and it's it's been a cool minute it's been a cool minute since I used Yvel back so hopefully it goes down fine hopefully my luck is good even though I know it's never going to be the case. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and just, you know, work with the cards that are dealt to us. So, MST, Dark Graffer, Dark Hole, Plague, and Rhoda. Alright, that's doable. Doable. kind of wish I would have went first instead of second, but... We're good, we're good. So, depending on what we... Excuse me. <laughs> depending on what we draw, we might just take a little bit slow, just... Rota, Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, drop the Mally, got the Plague in hand, there you go, there's two Synchros right there, so, yeah. So, your pictures of Harpy Ladies, am I going against Harpy Ladies? If I am, this might be a difficult one, because I do not have the hand to be dueling against Harpies like this right now. I mean, I don't play any back rows, so, well, not really, no, well, back row I can hinder them, so, you know, if he's going to think about doing, like, you know, uh, you know, his filled spell, his, what is that? I forgot the name of the field spell. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Yeah. You can just pop his own shit. But if he... If he pops that sign... You know. So that's the one thing with Harpy Ladies. Harpy Ladies? Are they a bad deck? No. Are they a good deck? Yeah, that's debatable. Um, what's wrong with them? Well, the problem with them is that they have consistency issues. You know? When, when, you, when you base your entire deck around the strength of one monster being Channeler, and you have no way of searching Channeler, you know, except for, you know, Summoner Monk, then, you know, and Hysteric Sign, then, you know, yeah, it's, it's bad, you know, it's consistency issues. If they ever got, like, a, um, like a, um, a Rota or a Tenki for Winged Beast, then, you know, we might see Harpies do some stuff, but, you know, uh, Generally, if they don't have Hysteric Sign, uh, they just burn through a lot of resources real fast. Real fast, like immensely fast. And, you know, you know, Draco Sack, is, making a Draco Sack isn't as strong as it used to be, you know. It used to be, making a Draco Sack used to be, like, you know, so powerful. First turn Draco Sack, oh shit. You know, now it's kind of like, first turn Draco Sack, alright, well, you make a first turn Draco Sack, I make a first turn Castell. You know, just go summon my level 4, summon my level 4, attack your two tokens, make your Castell, spin it back, you know. So, you know, even if you put in defense mode, you know, even when 101 and before Castell, even when you put the Draco Sack in defense mode, it's still like, damn, I can't take him a 101. Like, ah, it's going to be really difficult, you know, but, you know, Castell is just so fucking good that, you know, he just doesn't give a fuck. So, things are just different. The game is ever-changing in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you know, what used to be good isn't that good, and what's, you know... What's great today may not be great tomorrow, so RPs are definitely one of them. When you, when one of your strongest plays and the play that you're known for is going for a Draco Sack through Channeler and Harpy's Pet Dragon, you know, that's it's not that good anymore. That's when you know, you realize, you know, you still got Lightning Chidori, I'll give you that. But Draco Sack isn't as powerful, and of course the Harpy's Pet Dragon drawing it, and just the consistency issues and all of that, you know. So there's, there's kind of a reason why the deck kind of just fell off, really. Well... Did it, was it really, really anything to begin with? Did it ever top? It's the top of my mind, I can't remember, but... Maybe it maybe topped a couple tournaments, but I don't remember it ever being like, Oh, you know, YCS winner, Harpy Ladies. Never. No. That has consistency issues, so... No. Same thing with Black Wings. They have consistency issues as well. No. So if you want to go ahead and give them their uh, Gale back, hey, more power to you. You know, OCG Gale's at 2, here it's at 2, so, you know, we'll go ahead and see what they do. That run. I didn't mean for it to run. This guy is not dueling. He is, uh, you thinking? You still there? You know? If you're saying thinking, then go ahead and type thinking. Like, okay, more power to you, man. You know? You know, this isn't a big tournament. We're not, we're not gonna go into time. You know, if we were gonna go into time, we still got, like, what? What you get, like, 40 minutes? I think. I think you got, like, 40 minutes, so. 
you know, we're only dueling once. I'm not really planning on accepting a rematch, so, yeah, so. Alright, I guess I'm going to assume that he's not there, so instead of wasting your time sitting here watching a screen that's not moving, let's go ahead and get another duel on. Kind of suck because I actually opened up fairly well. Yeah. But if I could, if I could, if I could summarize my experience at YCS uh, Anaheim, I, I, I would, I would, I would say that um, my luck is just terrible. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm planning on doing a uh, deck profile and um, tournament report for the live video tomorrow, being Wednesday. But uh, yeah, my luck is just terrible. I'm, you know. I don't, I don't realize how unlucky I am. What the fuck? This, see? <sighs> Welcome back, number generator. Welcome back. I missed you. I missed you at YCS. I, re I really did. Now, since we're back, one, two, three, you know. Some of the most frowned upon freaking spell cards that are, you know, that came, you know, just ridiculous, so. All right, let's do this. I'm going to drop you, though, because I'm hoping that he wants to just throw the MST at my oasis. Besides that, this hand is not the most spectacular thing in the world. I really gotta see what he's planning on doing. It could be a lot, 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 lot better. Zombie Master. Okay, that's fine. Are you gonna summon Zombie Master and attack over me for 400? Hey, more power to you. I'm cool. Is that one background pass? Well, I have a play. I'm just wondering if I want to do it. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to activate Oasis. Is that okay? You got that MST? Not since I drew Plague? That's not going to do. I'm going to summon Armageddon Knight. He's going to get his back. The only thing I don't like about Zombie Master is Zombie Master here means I'm probably going to get a zombie deck, of course. And zombie deck entails that uh, I'm probably going to get the shit cacked out of me. Uh, through uh, Book of Life, because you know how Book of Life is. All right, so all right, no, I'm okay. Especially with Soul Charge, like Soul Charge is just so damn strong. All right, I'm gonna normal summon Plague. Is that okay. Normal summon Plague. Activate Mally. Banish Mally. Summon Mally. Go ahead. No, I could go for. Oh, he's just gonna quit. All right. Yeah, I could have went for Goyal Guardian, but. I was thinking about it. it, kind of, the thought kind of went through my head, I was like, I can go from Goya Guardian, you know, attack over his, um, Zombie Master, Zombie Ma I would get the Zombie Master, you know, activate Zombie Master effect, pitch a card, bring back Plague, you know, I was thinking about maybe doing that, just, just a little bit, I was thinking, I was, I was considering it. Well, I'll go first. Setup is important. Plague, Oasis, MST, uh, oh! Oh, thank you for the great hand once again. Beautiful, beautiful hand. I'm gonna get a knight. Uh, so, how much did you miss me? Did you miss me a lot, lot, lot? A whole bunch? You guys super bored without me? Uh, my, my, my life was just okay. Set this, set this, set this. Go ahead and space one of them if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what you're using. Set one. Set one and pass. Wow. Well, if you're just going to set one and pass, I'm going to space it. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. So that didn't even have anything to do with me anyway. Alright, I'm going to go Mally effect. I draw Mally, right? Yeah. Mally effect. Go ahead and banish Mally. Summon Mally. Almost summon the plague. Sing eight. Apparently Unizum. GG. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead and admit defeat. That is game. That might be game. Is it? Chat. Uh, it wasn't exactly a game. He must have just opened it like crap. Unless I could finish off with one of you two. Actually, I could have. 3,000. So, uh, hypothetically speaking, something two bills. 6,000. Attack with you. That's 
four hundred. Activate call haunted. Yeah, that was game. That would have been game. So, I guess he's just like GG. That's it. You got those two. That's it. That's no TK. Even though it's not. But all right, that's fine. A lot of duels in this video. Just just not long duels, you know. So far, I'm opening up pretty well. Wow, why I'm way at the bottom. Hello. I got a little bit higher than that. No, it's a little bit scrolling down. There we go. There I am. No. Wow. Everybody wants to duel me. Except the first person. I don't care. Alright. Let's do this. Good luck. Have fun. You want me to go first? Oh, thank you. You too. I love them first. Foolish runner, da 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 da. Alright, well. Tan's not the best, but it's not the worst either. He has plays. So, this time we got what? Foolish, Ubel, and Race. Ah. <sighs> Ugh, number generator, I love you. <laughs> I swear this number generator is fucking cray cray. Alright, I'm good, go ahead. Oh, next turn I can go Mally, summon Mally, Plague, put the frickin' Uh, Ultimate Nightmare on top. Actually, I'll put the Ultimate Nightmare in the deck before that. I'll go fucking Plague, put Ultimate Nightmare. Fucking, wow. See? And that's why you don't do that. Come on. Destroy it. I train. I train my MST. Destroy it. Yes, I can! Hello? Why? Why? UMST, yes! Yeah. I can't, really. Really. So fucking bad! Ah, oh god, it feels so great to be back on the end. Come on. You can't do that, cheater! You am I for MST. Your MST. You can't chain it. Fucking noobs! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! What's up with them? Just giving me fucking just wow hands. Like, what's up with this? So foolish and Rikaki. No one's getting, you know, just a little bit suspicious about this. Uh, I can go for for certain deals. Right, what the fuck am I thinking? I was like, I was like, I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this hand? I gotta take it slow. Like, no, I don't. Because usually I went over to Armageddon Knight, which means I use my normal summon. But this time I got foolish, so that means I don't have to use my normal summon. Like, like beautiful. Like, uh, you know, I was talking to a Shadow player, and he was running. No, not was it Shadow? It was either a Shadow player or a Synchro player, and they were running. Um, no, and a Noble Knight player. No, no, a couple of them. A couple of them. But um, the point is, is that they were running Mathematician. Probably not the Noble Knight player. Um, they were running um, Mathematician, but they weren't running Foolish. I'm like, why, you know? Like, Foolish is so fucking good. Like, it doesn't even matter. Fucking... Mathematician is just so I mean foolish is just so fucking good. Foolish is like literally like the tits. Oh yeah, you didn't know. Alright, Chaos Dragons. Alright, interesting. Ah uh, that sucks. Pop my call. I wanted to be some kind of battleship. I actually wanted that play. Uh, I can go for a crimson blader. You know what? I'm gonna go for a crimson blader. The Mally effect. Wait, is there anything that I don't want to draw? I don't want to draw the MST. I, uh, now since I'm going against 
Chaos Dragons. I probably don't need the damn MST. Thank you for the offer, though. Thank you for the offer. Yeah, I love hating on back row. Did I banish the smeller? There we go. I did that backwards, but it's cool. I was like, wait, did I do that? Right? What? What do you mean? What do you mean you got me? Okay. People on the end are being weird today. Grim's Blade attack. Attack. Yep. Go ahead. Mr. Chaos Dragon guy. Chaos Dragons. Hmm. Well, if you're thinking about summoning that uh, light pulsar, you can't. So, Regeki. All right, sure. I got it too. So, I know. Nerva. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean the freaking rule shark you, but yeah. Alright, so he's got one, two. He's got a glow bulb. Hmm. Oh, he can sink into something. I don't know what, but he can. A glow bulb, though. Ah, oh, no, I'm chill right now. I'm drawing these mass chameleons, but they can't do shit right now, but besides that. I'm pretty chill right now. Okay, so I take, uh, when you mill with your effect, right, during your main phase, you can send the top two cards you're dead to the blah, 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 so you're still 17. Yep, that was weird. So I guess your plan is to go ahead and summon a level 4 and make like a 101 or something, right? In fact, 1, 2, yep. Summon 2 or guide, 2 or guide effect, yep. Kinda knew this was gonna happen or something. Alright, summoning another 2 or guide. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck he's trying to do. So what I get in my opening hand? I got Foolish and Regeki, and he got Honest in Regeki, so. Alright, XC and 2. Dante. Alright, Dante. Yep. 1, 2, 3. Make sure you uh, detach. Yep. Special Summon BLS 2. Damn! Alright. BLS motherfucking two. All right. So Regeki, honest and BLS. You fucking number generator. Stop fucking me in the ass with your number generatorishness. Did he mill a light sworn with? No, he didn't. What was that game? Plus some plague. If you summon Zephyros by returning the plague. It's like 400. Sink into 8. Who are you into? Stardust Spark. Wow. Well, I probably, well, I'd lose this duel most definitely. Like, wow. Ah. It's good to be back with the luck of Yu Gi Oh!
like the luck of the Irish and start playing. Well, it's not even luck, it's a fucking number generator. Like, hello? Look at this. Look at this. Disgusting. Disgusting. Hello? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 You cheated. When you you use plague effect, put a card. Plague. Put a card on top of deck. Then you used uh, Zephyros. Uh. Plague would be banished. When it's discard some this way, it banish it when it leaves the field. Can you even return? You can't even do that. You can't. You can't do that. Cause you can't. How can you activate Zephyros? And return. I'm confused. I'm confused. How can you activate Zephyros? Zephyros, you had to return a monster to the hand, but Plague wouldn't return to the hand. So, so how do you summon Zeph? So how do you summon Zeph by returning a monster to hand if? Plague does not go back to hand. That's the question here. You, Zephyros, you return a monster to the hand, you summon... Let me look it up. Right back. You won't be able to summon Zeph because you can't pay the cost. So you gotta return another monster to the to that to do that. All right. Okay, I guess he's just gonna admit defeat. Ah, I just noticed that. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I thought it just when Plague, you know, just, I was just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do you do that? Yeah. So, there we go. Caught me off guard. You know, that's the time where you'd be like, Judge! Judge! <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call this up. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode at least. Gotta laugh at it, or whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get less salty about Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm just tired of being salty all the damn time. <laughs> yeah. So, I understand that I'm not that lucky. I understand others are super lucky. I understand that this is a number generator, and then, you know, we're bound to get a ton of cards at one, you know? So, realize that. And as long as you accept that, and you accept Jesus Christ into your life, where am I going with this? Hello? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know? Then, uh, yeah. You know, competitive wise, I'm probably done. I'm not going to play competitive you anymore. I'm just going to play for fun. So, if I'm just going to play for fun, then, you know, I don't need to be salty. <laughs> So, you know, that's completely shocked. I can still be shocked. You're still going to get those natural reactions of shock and, you know, sometimes disappointment, but I'm not going to be you no know, salty. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll call it up. So. so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, I will be back tomorrow with uh, Ubelic Seas. So, yeah, thanks for watching.